Now, Rakesh Prasad wants to know how reliable is the riskometer considering the fact that it failed to catch the risk in the debt funds of Franklin funds? Well, he's right. The earlier version of Riskometer was not effective enough to call out the additional risk in the Franklin funds. Uh, that's because the earlier version of the Riskometer assigned risk grade at a category level and all funds within that category used to get the same risk grade, irrespective of the underlying differences in their risk profile. Uh, now, typically, if we look at the debt funds, most of the debt uh, fund categories by regulatory mandate have a restriction on either the kind of duration that they can maintain or the kind of credit quality. Uh, so, for instance, if we talk about short duration funds, uh, regulations mandate that these funds have to maintain a duration in the band of one to three years, uh, while the credit quality is left to the discretion of the fund managers. So, you see that often uh, funds differ significantly in terms of the credit quality of the bonds that they invest in and therefore uh, their underlying risks differ substantially. Uh, but this kind of a nuance, the earlier version of the risk grade was not capable to identify and call out. Uh, but that has changed with the revised riskometer methodology which has come into force from January this year. Now the risk grades are assigned on the basis of the underlying holdings of a fund. And we did a detailed study on this. Uh, in fact, we published that in our monthly magazine Mutual Fund Insight last month. And our study finds that the new riskometer is effective in identifying and highlighting the additional risk in some of the fund categories, uh, some of the funds in, in certain categories. In fact, there are a lot of categories where funds straddle across three risk grades. There are also some categories where the funds are spread across even four different risk grades. Uh, uh, so clearly to that effect, the riskometer, the new version has been much more inf effective. Uh, and I believe had that been in force uh, earlier, uh, you know, sometime last year when the Franklin episode happened, uh, at that time it should have been effective in highlighting those additional risks uh, in the Franklin funds. But now that this new riskometer is available, the onus is on investors to take note of it, to monitor it regularly and ask questions to their fund companies if they see the risk in their funds uh, rising. Uh, and this information one can easily get from Value Research website in the fund listings under the risk stats section.